Organizers of the ride tell me that 35 bikers have lost their lives to cars here in the valley since 2010. Tonight's event to raise awareness for safety out on the streets as well as to honor a pair of Palm Springs riders who were just in a terrible crash. It's important for the cyclists to feel that it's safe for them to get on the street and ride and know that they will come home again at the end of the day. Palm Springs residents Lori Layan and Keith Culver embarked on a cross-country bike ride from San Diego to Florida at the end of March. We made it as far as Austin, Texas. We were a little more than halfway across the country when the morning of March 30th, a car came from behind and hit first Keith and then me. Culver was thrown more than 15 feet, his bike broken into pieces. Alayan walking away with a leg injury that she's still recovering from, but her friend and riding partner later died from his injuries. The driver did not stop. I crawled, I couldn't walk, so I crawled on my hands and knees to get over to him. I got as close as I could and put my hands onto Keith and just told him, how much I loved him. Wednesday night, local cycling activists holding a five mile ride of silence in honor of the dozens of bicyclists hurt or killed in the valley. John Siegel is one of the organizers. One of the problems that we have in the Coachella Valley is that there are some big roads that are very fast and it's not always the case that drivers know when it's appropriate for a cyclist to be on a certain road. Pushing their message that cyclists have a legal right to share the road and that it can be dangerous even when they do everything right. We were following all the laws. We were wearing high visibility fluorescent coloring, flashing lights, helmets. We were far on the side of the road and the road was wide enough to accommodate all of us. But nonetheless, we lost a really good person. And the event here tonight gets underway with a group of speakers, leaders from several Valley cities and organizations who will be taking the podium at 630. And then following that, the ride of silence will be underway on a short loop through Palm Springs. That leaves from here at Ruth Hardy Park at 7 p.m. We're live tonight in Palm Springs. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3.